Welcome to video 153 in series 3, and now I'll fill in the NPC State Flea script. Okay, open up the NPC State Flea script and let's get to work. Alright, so for this script, start with private vector 3 direction to enemy, private nav mesh hit, nav hit, then private read only, NPC state pattern, NPC, public NPC state flea, pass in the parameter, NPC state pattern, NPC state pattern, uh, then NPC is equal to NPC state pattern. And uh, please do pause the video when I'm going pretty fast like that and just uh, type in uh, what I've put in there. Okay, so in the NPC state pattern, I'll just save that. In NPC state pattern, I'll add in the new one. Flea state is equal to new NPC state flea. This, so now we create an instance of this script and pass in the state pattern. Okay, in the update state, so let's fill this in. We've got two methods we need to write. Check if I should flee. Check if I should fight. Okay. And the patrol state, so for that two patrol state, let's put in some more. So keep walking. And also npc.currentState is equal to npc.patrolState. Okay, further down with the uh, two melee attack state, so I'm going to fill that one in as well. So this one is keep walking, and also npc.currentState is equal to npc.melee attack state. First of all, I'll just put in the uh, keep walking and stop walking methods. So void keep walking npc dot mesh agent dot resume npc dot npc master dot call event npc walk anim in void stop walking npc dot mesh agent dot stop npc dot npc master dot call event npc idle anim. All right, above that, I'll put in the void check if I should flee npc.meshRenderFlag.Material.Color is equal to color.gray. Okay, collider and array. Colliders is equal to physics.overlapsphere. npc.transform.position, uh, comma, npc.site.site.range, comma, npc.myEnemyLayers. If colliders.length is uh, zero, then just go to the patrol state. It means we're far away from whatever was uh, attacking us. And uh, there's, we can just go to the patrol state and return. Don't bother doing the rest of this method. Okay. Uh, otherwise, if that's not the case, then continue with the method. Direction to enemy is equal to npc.transform.position minus collider zero dot transform dot position and vector three check pass is equal to npc.transform dot position plus direction to enemy. So what I'm doing here is to just check that at some point that's in the direction. So because I want the NPC to run away it's from its enemy, from the one attacking it, it will run away in a straight line directly opposite uh, to the uh, source of the problem. So in the same line. So that's what the direction to enemy is. And then uh, the check pass is just some position even further forward away from the enemy and we just need to check that there's a valid place on the nav mesh so if nav mesh dot sample position uh, check pass comma out nav hit comma three so good area sizable area uh, nav mesh dot all areas then npc dot my nav mesh agent dot destination is equal to nav hit dot position keep walking so that will cause the um, NPC to keep fleeing and fleeing so long it has a as has a valid place on the nav mesh to walk to, and it'll always go in the opposite direction of whatever enemy it detects. So it'll start running from any enemy. It's not just whoever is attacking it. It'll be any enemy that it detects. It will just start running away. And if that isn't the case, it'll then stop walking and. Uh, well then, it, the next time this will run and then nothing is detected, it'll go back to patrolling. Alright, let's do the next method. So that's void check if I should fight. If npc.pursue target is null, then just return. So just get out of this method. Uh, float distance to target is equal to vector3.distance. Uh, npc.transform.position, npc.pursue target.position. 
Uh, so just get that distance to target. If NPC has melee attack and distance to target is less than or equal to NPC dot melee attack range, then two melee attack state. So even a fleeing, an NPC who is fleeing, if the um, its original target gets close enough to it, it will stop fleeing and it will try and use its melee attack against it. If it doesn't have melee attack, then it just keeps on running and running. All right, so that is it. So I'm going to save that. We can't test this. Uh, we it'll be a long time till we can see this in action, uh, because we need the uh, NPC to have health and uh, be able to take damage, etc. Uh, so I guess I can just then just check in Unity um, that there are no obvious uh, errors. So I'll just jump in there. Nothing uh, untoward. That's good. Okay, so that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.